Check out the back. Here's the schedule. We got a busy few days of baseball. Wow. Louisville Slugger, Cardinals Fantasy Camp. How cool is that right there? That's me, Doug McConey. We've got a reception tonight and uh, we do our tryouts and the drafting tomorrow. Friday morning, we're heading to the clubhouse for the first time. We've got our morning meeting, and then we're heading out to the field for practice, tryouts, call it what you want, before we'll figure out what our teams we're playing two games today. We just finished stretching and now we're going to the tryouts. One of the pieces of advice that we got from Hall of Famer Bruce Suter was always keep your head and body moving toward your target. So he was talking about in the context of pitching about making sure if you're always moving forward that all of your weight and momentum is heading towards the target and you don't waste energy. All right, game one, we're rolling. I'm um, up four to nothing. I'm batting second and uh, got my first hit and RBI. So uh, broke the seal, feeling good. Eight to nothing, that's a winner. Leadership lesson for today. And just really mindful of the small details. Play good defense. All right, it's game two, under the lights. We're down six to five. It's been a really sloppy game, just lots of walks. We've been a hard, a hard time finding the plate. We just took the lead. We got a race back in. So up seven, six, heading in the bottom of five. And uh, we got a hold. All right, we won. Um, I had a woeful night at the plate. This dude can play second base. And this guy can pitch. <laughs> I chewed up some ground balls. Apparently that's my role. Everybody has their role. And that's uh, part of the leadership is, is knowing what that role is. All right, we're gonna go have an ice cold, frosty Budweiser and call it an evening. Saturday morning, little stiff. Definitely need to spend some time stretching out. We've got two games today. The first game is against the only other 2-0 team. And we're playing at the big field in Roger Dean Stadium. Okay. All right, we lost. Four to two. We made an error. Man, I'm competitive. So we're two and one. We got to win this afternoon if we want to play in the championship. Put the mistakes behind you and uh, and move on and keep your confidence. And I'm going to continue to try to remind myself that. Now, when I start my motion, that's where. All right, pretty cool. They're. Uh, Given some personal instruction. One of the campers down here is, has never played baseball before. And uh, he's getting a one-on-one -on -one with Scott Terry and uh, Willie McGee hitting off the tee. Here's Rick Horton. Let's see if we can uh, get Ricky back on the Doug McConey vlog. What's uh, an example of leadership that, that you remember on the field? I had a manager, Jim Fergos, who I had great respect for, terrific leader. Uh, he was a guy that was uh, strong-minded in what he said, but never lost you. So he took me out of a game one day in Oklahoma City. He was my manager, and the, the late Jim Fergos, he managed the Phillies, Toronto, some other teams. So he took me out of a game in a, in a minor league game, and on the mound I said to him the big no-no. I said, what are you taking me out for? So I challenged him a little bit. And so he kind of glared at me, took the ball from me, and I walked back into the clubhouse, and he was walking step by step right behind me into the clubhouse, followed me all the way in, our, our spikes are clanking in the clubhouse, and I turned around and faced him, and he, and he got right in my face, 
and because of our relationship could do that and just said you want to know why i took you out because you can't throw a strike and he proceeded for five minutes to tell me why exactly why, in, huh? in in language that i do not want to share on your blog but uh in your video blog and i'm taking it he's he's kind of yelling at me but but in sincerely telling me the truth so that right. the point is he told me the truth and he turned to walk away from me while i was standing there took three steps spun on his heel came back to me and hugged me with a smile on his face and he said please don't make me ever do that again and so it was the perfect example to me and it's a little old school story but it, but it still yeah. i think fits the principle that uh you tell the truth but you show you care and to me leaders do that because if it's just blah 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 that's not leadership that's flattery you know you want to, we all want to be encouraged in our work absolutely uh, we don't want to be flattered so that's my story commissioner announcer, former Cardinal pitcher, and my mom's favorite player, <laughs> Rick Horton. <laughs>